Hey there folks, welcome back to Southern RV TV. We've got a brand new segment for you. We're calling it the RV Showdown because we're gonna compare two RVs back to back. What have we got for you today? Well, we've got sister products. They're almost clones of one another. On my right, we have the Alpine 3220RL and on my left, the Avalanche 322RL. These are both 2021 models, and at first glance, you would think that they're exactly the same. However, there's about a $10,000 difference at the MSRP level, so we're gonna break it down, take a look at what's different and why, and hey, let's just get right into it. As we can see, these are both beautiful RVs. I like them both a lot. There's some features that they both share that are really cool, like the wireless chargers on either side of the couch, the big fireplaces, the big solid surface countertops. There's a lot of really cool things here, even like residential refrigerators in both of them. Lots of lots of stuff that they share that is awesome, but there are a few key differences here and some major ones that we wanna get into. I'm standing here in the kitchen of the 3220, the Alpine. So this is the higher end product. I wanna start with this microwave. This microwave is a convection microwave as well. Whereas in the Avalanche, we're only getting a standard microwave. That means we have double the oven capacity here in the Alpine that we would have in the Avalanche. Behind me, we have an even nicer than normal Furion setup for the range and oven. So this is a three burner, just like there's a three burner over in the Avalanche, but it's laid out differently and it's more powerful. What that means for you is you could potentially use this for a griddle setup as well. The oven that's below it is larger. It has more cubic footage than the oven that's in the Avalanche. This one is also 9,000 BTUs. I believe the one in the Avalanche is closer to 7,000. So that's a big leap especially when you're talking about cooking faster. Now, other things that are different, we talk about cabinetry. So here in the Alpine, all of our cabinetry is real wood. That includes cabinet doors and our styles. If we reach around and feel this, this is real true wood all the way around. When we jump into the avalanche, we find something that I like to call sticker wood. Well, sticker wood, well, typically it's a form of composite that's been wrapped with a sticker that looks like the existing cabinetry wood. So it's kind of a way to mimic it and get the cost down. Also, while we're standing right here, I'd like to mention the AC, which you don't even hear right now because it's whisper quiet. The Whisper Quiet AC that's in this Alpine is really slick because it features two 15K ACs. It even has a heat pump built in that can produce tons of heat down to almost freezing temperatures. So that's going to be a great boon to conserving your LP in certain situations. That heat pump is not available on the Avalanche, and the Avalanche has a 13.5 K AC in addition to the 15 K instead of the two 15 Ks that we see here. Now, moving forward, what else have we got? We've got some crazy other little details like lighting. Lighting is one of the things you don't think about much, but there are some small key differences and it's elevated here in the Alpine in both the kitchen around the dinette and in the bedroom. Speaking of the bedroom, let's pop on up that way and on the way there, let's take a look at the control center and one cool feature, a vacuum cleaner. So as soon as you step up through the door of the Alpine 3220RL, we come up to our stairway where we have this road vac vacuum system. This is not available on the Avalanche. It is a built-in vacuum cleaner. We have a full hose kit to run around the house and suck up all the dirt on the ground. That's a pretty nice feature. Straight up above it, 
and directly across from the door is our in command control panel another system that we don't find on the avalanche this touch screen is going to control pretty much everything on the rv it's going to run out slides let out awning start stop a generator if there's one on board all kinds of great stuff and it's app driven what does that mean for you well it means that you can run these systems from your phone here in the alpine where is that handy you think well why would i need to do that compared to say the avalanche with just its standard buttons well let's say you got into a campsite where you were parked really close to a tree or a branch or something that you were worried about running your slide out and hitting well if you have the app driven system on your phone you can step outside hit that button watch the slide go out stop it if necessary and then reset i think that's a pretty cool feature well, let's pop up into the bedroom and check out some of the differences there so there are just a couple of things i want to point out that are different between the alpine that we're in now and the avalanche the alpine 3220 rl in this bedroom has positionable lights up above the headboard what i mean by that is that each of those can rotate and point so as not to disturb if you have a sleeping partner and you're sitting up reading, you don't have to have ambient light just glowing everywhere down across the bed. That's kind of a nice feature. The other thing that's standard with an Alpine, that's optional in the Avalanche, is that this already comes with a flat screen TV. So entertainment is built into the bedroom. Now, there are a couple of other minor details that I wanna take a look at before we go outside and check out the differences there. Let's head back into the living room. Here in the living room, I wanna point out just a couple of quick things. Here in the Alpine, we have these beautiful wood valances that aren't just cloth like we see over in the Avalanche. So there's just a few more details that really class it up a bit. In addition to that, we have roller shades that are both day and night shades. So we have a blackout shade as well as our day shade which is just going to dim the amount of light that comes through and add a little bit of privacy. Now, that's not what we're gonna find over in the Avalanche. All we're gonna see over there is the privacy roller curtains. The last thing I wanna point out is where our wall meets the ceiling. Here in the Alpine, we have crown molding. That's actually a really nice feature in the sense that it just classes it up. It gives it a nice look throughout. Now let's pop outside and look at some of the differences between the two that really set them apart. Outside, one of the first things I wanna mention is construction. So in our Alpine, we're sitting on a 12 inch I-beam chassis versus our Avalanche is sitting on a 10 inch I-beam chassis. The 12 inch is gonna carry more load. In addition to that, it's gonna feel a little more stable underfoot. Now, that's not to say the 10-inch I-beam on the Avalanche is any kind of slouch. It's not. It's perfectly fine for the RV that sits on it. And even so, when we get into bigger Avalanches, they do move up to the 12-inch I-beam. But when we're comparing apples to apples, floor plan to floor plan, that's totally worth mentioning. Right here at the entryway, we have solid steps on both of our units. But the big difference is on our Alpine, the solid step has a strut assist. That just makes it so much easier to get up and down. As a matter of fact, as you can see, I kind of have to push it down to get it out of the door frame. Once it makes connection with the ground and we've leveled out those legs, it makes for a great wide stable entry getting in and out of the camper. Off to the side, we have our pass-through storage. In our Alpine, it is a little bit larger, but it has one extra feature that I think is really cool in the form of tie-down straps in the floor. That's not something that we're gonna find in our Avalanche. In addition to that, the Alpine is equipped with a power cord reel. That's really nice because it does provide automatic storage for your power cord, and it makes it easy to roll up when it's wet and muddy, dirty, or even frozen, versus on the back of the Avalanche, you're just gonna be wrestling that big old heavy cord and then storing it somewhere, probably in that pass-through storage. Also of note, these both have the option of having tank heaters. However, the Alpine has them standard. So that means if you're in cold northern environments 
where you're worried about your tanks freezing up, that's not a worry with Alpine. You flip a switch and you have hot tanks. It's gonna keep, it's a pad that sits on the bottom of it that keeps your fresh water from freezing up on you as well as your gray and your black. Now, one last thing that also involves hot water is going to be the actual water heater. On our Alpine, it's an on-demand hot water system. It's tankless versus on our Avalanche, you definitely have limited gallons of hot water before it runs out. So that means you can take a really long shower in the Alpine, and I like that a lot. So let's just jump into some final thoughts here. So final thoughts. Uh, there's so much going on here. Obviously, right off the bat, they look super similar, but as you've seen, there's chassis differences, trim level differences, appliance differences, and all sorts of small things that can make day-to-day -day life just a little bit easier in the Alpine over the Avalanche. So where do I stand on it? I think that if you were full-time, if you were planning on living out of the trailer, the Alpine is definitely the way to go. If you just like the floor plan and you're a weekend warrior or you're just an average vacationer, you're taking your RV out three, four or five times a year, I think the Avalanche is probably the way to go because there's some things that if you're just staying in it for a week or a weekend at a time that really aren't that necessary. But things like Whisper Quiet AC, things like the nice stable chassis, I just think that really the Alpine is probably the better bet for long-term use. It is a little bit more, but that little bit more is gonna be worth it in the long run. I hope you've really enjoyed this comparison and we'll do some more, so be on the lookout. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and until next time, as always, happy camping.